All right, YouTube. Well, we're as you can tell, this is going to be, I think it's part three. Yes, part three video of getting this stuff done. I'm um, already got some stuff done without you guys. Sorry about that. But I did get the uh, plywood up installed, as you can see, and I do have some uh, pieces of Unistrut already on the wall. And I'll show you further on back here. See, I got the Unistrut all the way over to this side here and the plywood all the way across. Alright, over here in this section is where the pips are going to be installed. I also got a breaker there and a breaker up there. The breaker that's up the top, that's going to be for the uh, going into the pip. And then the breaker down there is coming out of the pip and into the main breaker system here that powers the shed and then plus another uh, set of outlets or another wire going from the shed into the house to power lighting, my fridge, deep freeze, things like that if there's a power outage. So we're going to get to work and we're going to get some, uh, try to get one of the big massive transformers up there. All right. Almost got her. <laughs> At least one of them using that to hold it up. <coughs> well, I gotta try to just get the dang washers on the outside there. Oh shit! <coughs> Freaking cold air. Oh yeah, you're on camera too. <laughs> this is my buddy Jeff. He's gonna help me get this thing up here. There he is, Jeff. What's up, YouTube? Alright. I'm gonna try to lay it flat, and these bolts are gonna come out, but I need to get those washers. So I'm gonna get okay. yeah. even with that and the one on the other side. Right. I'll get one, let it rest, then get the other one. Yeah, understandable.
175 pounds of pain in me butt. I know uh, you guys missed out on a lot of stuff that I've been working on. I've got the big transformer up. All right, that's 125 pounds. That thing weighs a ton. Got my networking stuff on top of it now since I don't have no place to put it because that's where it originally was, was on the shelf here. So we got to relocate all that stuff in the wiring. All right, got me a sub panel box here. Um, that's going to bring my mains in. Actually, it's going to go to this breaker first. This will be my mains breaker. Come out of this, come into the top post binding post up here. And what this is going to do is going to feed another set of breakers. It's going to come out go to the first transformer from the first transformer over to another breaker that breaker is going to get moved also I'm going to move it closer to where the pips going to be over here all right and then it's going to go into the pip then out of the pip is going to be another 240 volt line coming into that set of breaker transformer and then up to this breaker box which then feeds the whole shed any other outlets that I might get connected so that's pretty much how it's going to be um, I'm going to do some rough wiring right now I'm getting it all roughed in uh, right now I don't have the conduit I'm wanting I was thinking about going rigid con conduit but I found some uh, it's like a uh, I don't know, um, it's a PVC type material, material but it's got a lot of little grooves in it and it's flexible and that's what I'm going to run and you can get adapters that look just like this except for the piece of plastic piping that's flexible slides into it locks in place and then this just goes into your normal spots like here with a uh, locking ring on top of it and holds everything nice and secure in place that's the kind of conduit I'm going to run because I can flex that move it where I need to um, for roughing stuff in so that's pretty much how I'm going to do that I'm going to get back to work as you can tell I've got a lot of the units strut up all right and as you can tell it's just you know unistrut bolted on top of unistrut everything's about a good almost three inches from the wall other than the breaker boxes the breaker boxes are right to the plywood there and the breaker box up here which that and i'm going to actually move over there i don't know put it somewhere else i really don't like it there um that's pretty much that because i might build me a shelving shelving system there to put my networking stuff and get it all set up there, up out of the way. So, all right, well, I'm going to get back to work. And once I get the uh, pip hung up, we'll get back to the video and you can see some of the wiring.
Alright Tube, that's pretty much all you're going to get to see on this video. Next video is going to be all the wiring. Alright, and we've got plenty of room on that side there for another pip when I get the money for one. It'll go there. So I have two pips setting up there. And then I have another breaker just like that one there sitting over there for that pip. Each pip I have its own breaker. I might take his breaker and I'm going to set it right under the pip. Same way with uh, the DC breakers. DC breakers will be sitting right under the pip. Everything is just going to be uniform. I mean, it's, everything is going to be the same all across the board. I don't want anything different than anything else. Um, so I can keep my DC cables from crossing my AC cables. What we're going to do is all my AC is going to stay up above, the, up and behind the pip. All right, and all my DCs cabling me down here. So AC up high, DC down low. So when we come out of the breaker, I might just stick this breaker right there. That way when I come out of the breaker, go under into the pip. And the next breaker, power and everything, run behind it, down and up into the pip. That way all my DC stuff that's down here can come up with a pip without crossing my ACs. So that's pretty much what we got going on. This is all we got for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and be ready for part four.